What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about two new Cap'n Crunch varieties, Red, White, and Blue Crunch and Cotton Candy Crunch. The first one we're going to cover here is this Red, White, and Blue Crunch. Now this variety came out just in time for the 4th of July, representing the U.S. flag with the red, white, and blue colors there. Now you should be able to find this box on shelves a little while longer, and maybe even after the 4th of July where it'll probably go on sale. Now in addition to this box of Red, White, and Blue Crunch, there's also been another box spotted at Sam's Club. Same cereal, just two bags inside this box. And you can see the box art is a little different. They got Cabin carrying a sparkler there and a box of fireworks. In addition to that box, there's another one out there that's only available at Dollar General stores, and that is Hero Crunch. Now again, this is the same cereal as Red, White, and Blue Crunch. It's just got a different name and a different box. And we'll look at this box and the Red, White, and Blue Crunch box a little more in a second. But first, there's something else we need to talk about. See, this technically isn't the first Independence Day themed Cap'n Crunch cereal. Or maybe it is. It's still a bit of a mystery. See, back in 2017, there were rumors of a Freedom Crunch cereal coming out from Cap'n Crunch. There was box art pictures online and listings on grocery store websites for it. Personally, I thought it was a weird choice for Cap'n Crunch to release a limited edition Freedom Crunch cereal for the 4th of July. I actually tweeted the Cap'n himself and he responded that it was never released or made. I thought, okay, fine, that's the end of that. But then last year, me and my friend Dan from Seriously.net were contacted by a guy who claimed to have a few boxes that he got in a store in Minnesota. He even sent along a blurry photo to prove it. So maybe it did come out in one specific region, or maybe these were just test boxes that were never meant to be released. We'll never really know. I'm just happy the captain didn't end up releasing it for 4th of July. Why, you ask? If you want to celebrate 4th of July, call it 4th of July Crunch, or Independence Day Crunch, or USA Crunch. The 4th of July is about America's independence from England. But freedom? Come on. July 4th, 1776 didn't mark freedom in this country for a whole lot of people. And again, it's not something special or unique to the US. I mean, here's a list of all the countries in the world that have freedom right now. And lastly, it's weird for a country with the highest incarceration rate and prison population in the world to brag about or tout freedom as some unique badge of honor. Anyway, enough lecturing you. They never released Freedom Crunch, thankfully, so let's move on. So as you can see here, Red, White, and Blue Crunch is just a version of Oops All Berries, but in the three colors of the US flag. I'm sure this cereal tastes the same as Oops All Berries, so the only reason to get this stuff is because of the box. So let's take a look at it. Here's the back of the box here. You can see the whole gang is hanging out at Camp Cap'n Crunch for summertime. I love that they continue to do callbacks to the old Cap'n Crunch gang, including the villain, Jean Lafoot. They even have Quisp up there in the tent, representing another classic Quaker cereal. The activities here on the back include a Mad Lib type rhyme game, uh, spotting two similar fireworks, counting the fireflies and spotting the, the unique one, and spotting all the things wrong in this picture. And if you want to celebrate 4th of July with a different box, well, head over to Dollar General stores where you can pick up Hero Crunch. Now again, it's the same cereal and it's limited edition here as you can see, but this box features a red, white, and blue camo design, which I assume is to honor our veterans. And then you got the Cap'n on the box there saluting all of our heroes, both military and otherwise. And the back of this box features some more games. You can see here they have a maze and they say, can you help the gang hook up the right hose? And some of the Cap'n Crunch crew there is dressed as different types of heroes. You have the Crunchberry Beast as the coach up there, you have a doctor, someone in the military, looks like a construction worker, and a fireman. Then they have this little thank you card you can cut out and give to someone you think is a hero. And finally, they have a little word scramble here where you can unscramble the following characteristics of a hero. Sorry, I can't help but spoil this for you. Bravery, courage, caring, kind, helpful, generous, and humble. And just so you know I'm not lying, these are exactly the same cereals with the same nutrition facts and the same ingredients. So since they're the same, I'm not gonna open both boxes of them for you. Let's open Red, White, and Blue Crunch. So here's what a bowl of red, white, and blue crunch or hero crunch looks like. Again, just like normal crunch berries, except there's no green and purple berries here, and they added a white colored one, which isn't in the traditional Oops All Berry cereal. Yep, it's just Oops All Berries. There's no flavor difference. They didn't add like a July 4th themed flavor. I don't even know what that would be, like hot dogs and hamburgers? But I mean, I love Crunch Berries, so this stuff is great. If you love Crunch Berries and you just want a new box for your collection, go ahead and pick this stuff up. But I think we're all more excited to move on to the other new variety of Cap'n Crunch, and that is Cotton Candy Crunch. Now the first thing I noticed about this box is there's no limited edition on the box, which means there's a good chance this one might stick around as a semi-permanent flavor. Sprinkled Donut Crunch was around for a while, Blueberry Pancake Crunch was around for a while. Neither one of those was a truly new permanent flavor, but Maybe it means this one will stick around for about a year or so. So you can see from the box here, the cereal is just blue and pink crunch berries. 
though these will definitely have a different flavor than normal crunch berries. And you can see the cabin in the little pink apron with cotton candy on it. And the cabin's got two sticks of cotton candy in his hands with the words Crunchitize Me Cap'n on them. Let's check out the back of the box. So they have a carnival theme going on here. I guess summer is a good time to release a carnival theme flavor. There are a few games, this mystery match game, where you cut out the pieces and see if you can match them. A maze here at the bottom. Uh, and this word game on the side where you have to spell as many words as you can with the letters in cotton candy. Then on the very side, they ask you to count the balloons in this picture. I'll save you some time, there are 24 balloons here. But it's always fun to see the captain in new gear, and they have him as a carnival barker up here in the ticket booth. Alright, let's open this stuff up and give it a try. Whoa, that definitely smells like cotton candy. So here's what a bowl of cotton candy crunch looks like, just pink and blue crunch berries. But I will say again, the smell of these definitely seems reminiscent of cotton candy, or at least something very sweet. Let's give them a try. I'm not quite sure yet. Let me get a few more bites. So it's definitely a sweet cereal, that's for sure. It's got that artificial cotton candy flavor to it. It's kind of hard to describe, honestly. Do you remember those cotton candy flavored Oreos that came out a few years ago? Or cotton candy Airheads? Or I think there was like cotton candy gum at some point? Well, this stuff is kind of like that. I mean, there's no mistake in it. It does taste like cotton candy. And it's good. I mean, if you like cotton candy flavored things, I think you really like this stuff. Though I will suggest pouring a smaller bowl than you usually pour. At least for me, this stuff is a little too sweet and eating a whole bowl of it seems a bit overwhelming. I think if I was redesigning this cereal from the ground up, I would probably do pink and blue regular Cap'n Crunch pieces and then just add cotton candy flavored marshmallows to the mix. We don't often get a Cap'n Crunch cereal with marshmallows and cotton candy is just spun sugar and Marbits are just compressed sugar, so it's kind of a good fit. But I mean, either way, hey, it's a fun idea. There's never been a cotton candy flavored cereal before, so you gotta give the cat credit for pushing the limits when it comes to experimenting with new flavors in cereal. This stuff still doesn't top the orange cream pop crunch that came out back in the summer of 2016, but that's a high bar to hit. I'd say it's a good new cereal, and hopefully it sticks around long enough for the public to weigh in and let Cap'n know if it's a hit or miss. And then maybe a year from now, they'll replace it with a new semi-permanent flavor. I would try to guess what's next on the Cap'n's list, but I don't even know where to start. What about you? Any predictions on what the next new Cap'n Crunch flavor might be? All right, well, that's gonna do it for these new Cap'n Crunch varieties. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled if you haven't found them on shelves yet. And if you're from the US, happy 4th of July. Hope you have a great weekend celebrating with a barbecue or whatever you do to celebrate the 4th. As always, Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy, cotton candy flavored milk. Ah.